it's amazing how much women can do, even with the influence that men are stronger. And we've just, we've come so far over the last hundred years. And it's just, yeah, it makes me proud that I can be part of that. Yes. 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 I'm super proud to be a woman. I'm not really sure why I'm just like being a girl. It's challenging sometimes, but in the end, I'm, I'm happy to be a woman, yeah. I am very much so proud to be a woman. I'm proud of what we've accomplished, what we can accomplish. There was a time when I delivered papers and was kind of a tomboy that I uh, thought maybe it would be easier to be a guy because you could be tougher and do more things. but. I can do as many things as I want to being a gal, too. Just going off my mom's background and like my background, even if we're given challenges or obstacles put in our way, I feel like we're always, in some type of way, we're always over, we're always able to overcome them. Even though my mom had a hard time raising us as a black woman in the United States because, I mean, she's on welfare, she's a black woman, she's poor, she works nine to five type hours. At one point she was working two jobs. She was going through abuse. So all of these things that are put on us and we still find a way to overcome those struggles, I feel that's what makes women powerful. Women have a great deal to offer and uh, offer, offer their families, offer the country, offer in their workplaces. I'm also proud to be a woman because I'm gonna do great things and it has nothing to do with my gender. It has everything to do with who I am. There is obstacles of being a woman, being a black woman, being a woman in general. If you say that there isn't, then you're lying. Cause like, I feel like everybody can see it. You know what I mean? People just ignore it because it's gotten better over the years, you know? Like, like you said, like we got, we are able to vote, like, but just because it's gotten better doesn't mean it's over. Like, doesn't mean that we've reached full equality. You have to be twice as good to be considered half as good. So you have to work harder to basically be acknowledged or accomplish the same. Not accomplished, but to be acknowledged for accomplishing the same thing. We undervalue our own experiences and perspectives and abilities. Um, I think just centuries of being told your second class citizen, um, you sort of get that message and you internalize it and you don't believe anything else. So beyond like actual tangible like, oh, women are paid less and women have a harder time getting jobs and women have a harder time, um, you know, raising their families because of these expectations placed on them, there's still this whole societal view on women as they're too much or they're not enough.